Oh, watch that Iron Man film last night, Iron Man 1. Uh, is Iron Man the one where he's got like this kind of suit? Yeah, and... the Iron Man suit. It's Iron well, Man. I don't know, it's I haven't like... seen it. Well, he's got it in every Iron Man well, film. Well, I don't know. Well, what happens in the film? Well... A billionaire called Tony Stark who makes weapons is travelling uh, with a convoy through Afghanistan on his way to demonstrate his latest Jericho missile. Um, but the convoy gets ambushed and Tony gets wounded by one of his own missile things that, that went off right next to him. Right. Um, then he gets captured by this uh, terrorist group and meets a prisoner called Yinsen who installs an electromagnetic thingy in Tony's chest right. in order to keep the shrapnel from the missile reaching his heart. But hang on, why didn't he just remove the pieces of shrapnel instead? If he's capable of complicated surgery, why not just remove the pieces of shrapnel? No, it's because it's they're too small. Anyway, Yinsen and Tony, and they build a big powerful generator called an arc reactor to power Tony's electromagnet thingy mm -hmm. and a suit of power armour to help them escape that they keep hidden right up until it's finished. But just go along with it. He breaks out and Yinsen sacrifices himself to help Tony get out. Then he ends up crashing the suit in the desert and getting rescued. He goes back home and says in the press conference that he's decided not to make weapons anymore. But Tony's company's manager, Obadiah Stain, advises against the decision. Tony then decides to make a better suit and a more powerful arc reactor that with help from his PA, Pepper Potts, they switch out for the old one, leaving it in a display case. This is Pepper Potts? But hasn't she got ginger hair? Not... Yeah, just go with it. Well, what, hold on, why didn't he go to the doctors and have them just remove the shrapnel? I told you, because it's too small or something. Stain keeps wanting to have all the details on this new tech, but Tony basically says no. Are you, does Stain look like this? He looks exactly like that. At a charity event, a reporter shows Tony how his company's weapons are actually being used by the Ten Rings terrorist group, who are now attacking Yinsen's home village. And she also tells him that Stain is trying to replace him as head of the company. Angry by the news, Tony puts on his new suit and flies to help Yinsen's village. After defending the village, he returns home and has to reveal his secret identity to his friend in the military. Meanwhile, the Ten Rings find the old Iron Man costume that Tony left in the desert and meet with Stain where we find out that the terrorists have been working for him all along. Stain then betrays the terrorists and paralyzes their leader with some kind of tech audio key fob thing and takes the suit back home to have it reverse engineered in order to make one for himself. Stark then sends Pepper Potts to hack into Stain's computer and finds out that he's the bad guy. Pepper then tells Phil Coulson and his counter-terrorism agency about what she found. Using the key fob thingy, Stain subdues Tony and nicks his arc reactor from Tony's chest, then leaves Tony to die. But Tony manages to get his old one and installs it back into his chest hole. Phew. Potts arrives with Coulson's men and Stain attacks him in his new suit. Tony shows up and starts fighting Stain and they end up fighting on the top of the Stark Industries building. Tony then gets Potts to overload the building's massive arc reactor and it generates a surge of energy that causes Stain to fall into it and die. Tony gives a speech and basically says that he's Iron Man. So was it any good? Well the suit looked a bit fake to be honest. Hello, I'm Jamie, this is Joe. Thank Hello. you for watching that. Thank you for watching. Uh, please let us know what you thought about it. And if you'd like to see any others. Yeah, uh, what you know, film do you want us to break down in the future? Yeah, in four minutes or something like that. So you don't have to waste your time watching the movie. Yeah, you can waste your time watching us instead. Goodbye.